Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. People have expressed that they want me to try and get Godhead unlocked and I think we're actually getting kind of close to that. So we need to do Greed Mode, we need to do Beast, um, we need to do Mega Satan and we need to do Delirium. So we've got a lot to go for. Let's try and go for maybe Mega Satan Delirium here. I know we played as the Lost recently, but yeah, let, let's try and get as much as we can get done with the Lost here. I mean, the Lost is a fun character. We've got the Sack of Keys here. I don't even know what the hell Sack that was. Speed down isn't ideal, um, but it is what it is. Familiar that drops one set of spicy keys every seven rooms. Damn it! I was like, that's not very good. Let's let's try and roll for something better. And of course, the 25% chance always working in my favor. Always working in my favor. I gotta say, I could have taken it because spicy keys um, don't actually hurt us because we use a holy mantle to pick them up. But I was like, do we really need that many keys? Like, some runs you do have a sort of need for keys, but a lot of them you don't. I mean, we've already got two this run, so it's kind of like, yeah... Uh, model Rocket, we'll take Model Rocket, why not? Model Rocket's a little bit risky, but I do like the uh, the way it works with shot speed. Now, someone pointed out something very interesting. Um, it increases your damage based on your shot speed, but Photon gives you infinite shot speed. So how would them two interact? I'd be very interested to know. Um, ooh, 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 no, 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 oh, for God's sake, I was going to try and push that into the secret room, because I'm pretty sure secret room's right here. My bad. Um, as for the question of the day-to-day, -day, what's the most amount of time you spent on a task that... Just shouldn't have taken you anywhere near as long as it did. Because yesterday, I very much had that. So, I um, I own the Four Souls Binding of Isaac card game. The, the full version with the, the mega box and everything. It cost me a lot of money, but <laughs> I, I've got that. And it's incredibly fun. And we had friends over for the past four or five days. Um, and I... Um, we, 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 all, we all played the Isaac game, and honestly, it was probably the most entertaining game of Four Souls I've ever played. It was just so fun. It lasted about two hours, um, and there were so many twists and turns, and I ended up winning, and the way I ended up winning was just glorious. But anyways, I'll get back to that in a sec. The, the, the main thing I'm talking about is, after I um, finished that game, do you know what? I actually think it might be here. Um, I decided that um, I should make some... Um, Will this get the Tinted Rock as well? Yes, it will. Uh, I decided that I should make some um, drafted decks. Basically, there's so many cards in the game now that you can't play with all the cards at once. So it's recommended that you draft decks of cards to play with, which means that they need a specific number. So, for example, the monster deck needs a specific number of bosses, a specific number of events, a specific number of basic enemies, a specific number of epic bosses, and all this sort of stuff. Um... So, I, I went through and I made a bunch of decks out of all of the cards. It took fucking forever. It took me literally, like, five hours. Because I had to separate every single card into their separate categories. And once I'd separated all the cards into their separate categories... That was a really, really bad hit there. Um, I then had to go through and um, organize them all into the specific sets of... Um, specific sets of cards that I needed to use... Uh, then make a deck out of them. Then I had to go and shuffle that deck to make sure it was random. It just took goddamn forever. Um, it was very... Fr I won't say it was... It wasn't say it was frustrating. It wasn't, like, kind of entertaining, but it did take forever. Um, it spawns a golden penny, so I'll take this. We got a luck upgrade out of this as well. I'm more likely to get a shop item here as well. Um... Yeah, so I did that. But anyways, this game that we played was so goddamn good. Um, basically, the way I ended up winning in the end is that I had a enemy as a, as an item. So there's an item, there's an enemy called Balrog, uh, which is one of the warp zone cards. Which essentially, once you kill it, it becomes an item in your possession, and it can be used to kill a player or enemy instantly. But as soon as it's as soon as you've done that, you then have to trade it to another player, and then they can use it for that reason. So what I did is I waited until I was at three souls, and I was holding this card, but I knew that um, a few of the players had butter beans, which can cancel effects of other items. So I knew someone could cancel it. Um, so I had to play the long con. Ooh, yes, I'll definitely take Mother's Love. I had to play the long con and essentially wait for the right opportunity to do it. Oh, yes. Um, so I had to wait for the right opportunity to be able to use it. And so 
I actually had two really, really unique and interesting um, things in my possession. So one of them is that I had a card where whenever anyone rolled a two, I could give them one of my items and take one of theirs. So I used that to, uh, to grab a few really good items off of people. Um, throughout the course of the game and one of them that I grabbed I grabbed a trinket called callus Which is obviously in the Isaac and it does pretty much the same thing it would do in the game It kind of protects you from traps basically it means that when it's not your turn You cannot take any non-combat damage so like if a troll bomb explodes from the um, monster deck It won't hurt you stuff like that. So I stole that from someone um and had that in my back pocket and then I also had the shovel which in the four souls the shovel is really good. It lets you go into the discarded monster deck pile and take out any single monster and put it back at the top of the monster deck. And there was troll bombs in the monster uh, the monster cards. There was a, a troll bomb that deals two hearts of damage. So it kills everyone's only got two hearts. It kills everyone. So what I did is I waited and waited and waited. And then I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, it's Swindler. I'll take Swindler. Swindler's pretty good. Um... I waited and waited and waited until the right opportunity, the right time to strike. And once uh, once people were sort of let the defenses down, I used my shovel to put a troll bomb on the back on the top of the deck. Um, and then someone else picked it up and it killed every single player apart from me because I had callus. And so, um, oh, that was stupid. Um, I waited until every single player was dead. Um, and then, um, big old troll bomb. Uh, and then I used Balrog to instantly kill uh, the last boss I needed to gain the fourth soul. And because everyone else is dead, no one could react with a Butterbean. And no one could cancel my item or stop it or do any counterplays at all. Uh, it was it was just glorious. I, I felt... It, it felt like such a... Such a, like, fucking... 4D chess move. <laughs> I just felt like I was so, like... Haha! Yes! <laughs> Got a cone head there, I think that is. Right. Good old bit of cone head. Careful of this guy with his herming shots. Now, Mobile Rocket can be a little bit difficult to utilize sometimes, but here it's doing pretty well for us. This is not ideal because it's going to take our money away, but I think I'm just going to take it anyways. Yeah, that was actually really worthwhile. Tears up, damage up, and a look up. I'm pretty happy with all of those. Uh, we got Guppy's Hairball. I don't know what this item is. I think that's the Deviled Eggs one. I'm going to reroll both of those. And we get this, which is pretty good. A theme. Um, it's going to give us a pretty big bonus to our damage. And I think we just get gone from here. This has been pretty good. Um, like I said, we're going to try and go... Um, I said we're going to do Mega Satan, didn't I? I've already taken a Devil Deal. Bollocks. Ah, so I guess we can go for Beast at this point then? That was my bad. That was very much my bad. I could still go Delirium, I guess, if my run if my run looks good enough to do Delirium. That is not my intention there. That was a bit stupid of me. I'll let the Swindler take some pennies. He's a good lad. Dude, this curse again. We've got whatever this is, I'll take it. Mongo Baby, okay. I was going to say not very good, but we actually do get a bonus to our stats. We've actually got three bonuses to Mother's Love already, which is pretty darn good. You got ourselves... Is that Spoonbender for nine cent? Hell yes. I'm hoping we can afford that by the end of this run. By the end of this floor, should I say. Which I need to be careful of, because... I don't want him stealing my pennies. Don't actually, didn't actually get to see what this did. Get careful, not die here. Lose all your bombs. Okay, that's not very good. Okay, we need another six cent. I don't want to take it because Spoonbender with, with this rocket thing would be kind of amazing. Don't know if they can drop pennies, but I thought I'd try it anyways. Oh my god. The slowdown from the rockets is making it so I can't really hit these guys very easily. I can't obviously bomb my donation machine if, if I really don't get enough money, which I might do. I need to be me uh, need to be more mean to my donation machine as, 
That's a key, I'll take that, thank you. You see what I mean about the keys, though? We've just not had any issue with keys right now. Okay, you, you got both those keys. Good on you, lad, I guess. Okay, let's quickly pop in here. That's analog stick there. Yeah, so Swindler, I'm going to need you to back off a minute while I do this. There you go. You can have one of the pennies. Cool. Analog stick, don't accidentally buy that. Guppy's tail? This is where we could use more keys, I guess. But I will take Guppy's tail. I did pass up on another Guppy item already, which is a bit of a shame. Um, right, spoon bender, I think this is. That it is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes, okay, this run has gotten pretty good. So maybe we will go delirium. We got homing rockets now, which is pretty fun. Oh, Devil's Crown. Devil's Crown's really good for us. All of our item rooms will contain devil deals that are all free. Okay. This is definitely looking like a delirium run right now. Good stuff. Good stuff. Extra penny, I'll let you have that, good fella. I like the way he opens chests for me, it's very nice of him. What you got for us this time, boy? Nine cent book, let's re-roll it. Into Bumbo, let, let, yet another guy that wants all of our money. Probably not a great idea. Dude, he's spawning so many items right now, this is crazy. Definitely gonna be re-rolling this. Do not want a cube of meat. Ooh, perfection though. Snake oil. Right, so this is kind of tricky. So we've got the revive there, we've got the overcharge battery, we've got whatever this is, which looks like a familiar. Yes. I, I thought I'd take that because it's uh, extra damage. I'm going to stick with the trinket I've got rather than taking perfection, you know. I think it's better. I Although I've only got two floors worth of it being useful left. No, I've got three. I've got three. Three extra devil deals. Could be really good. This is tricky. This is tricky, because I've got... I'm going to get a ton of chests if I take a look. I'm, I'm going to stick with what I've got. I'm going to stick with what I've got. Have we done Mother as this guy as well? We have done Mother. Nice. Okay, that, that takes out one of the more difficult things. I need enough money to uh, buy an item if he spawns it. Also, he's, he spawned a key in that doorway, which is really inconvenient, because we're going to have to buy it to get out of that room. I most certainly do not appreciate. I do not appreciate this room either. Holy fuck. These enemies are the worst. Good, good. I'll take all that money, thanks. And then you can drop me Ares, which is a speed up for 11 cent. I'll take Ares. Why not? Uh, nothing particularly good in here, although Bag of Bobbies is kind of interesting. Damn it. I'm going to try and get Bag of Bobbies. Because it'll give me a lot of stat-ups. It's going to cost me a lot of money, which I kind of need right now, but I'm taking the risk. Don't need those black hearts for anything. I don't know what I'm doing. A little delirium in all bad either. He can be a good lad. Get out of here, crab. What's in here? Speedball. We don't already have a syringe, so let's re-roll it. Yeah, definitely not that interested in that. Berserk. Unfortunate. I'd rather keep my reroll. 
That is unfortunate. But I can re-roll it. That's very good. After defeating a boss, red crawl space will appear in the middle of the room. Entering the crawl space brings you to yet another boss fight of a higher difficulty. Victory rewards you get... Um, you would, victory rewards you two items from the ultra secret room pool to choose from. Very cool item. Very fun item. Right, make sure we don't go back in that room where we have to buy the key. Not that we can afford it right now anyways. Right, back over this way, back for the reroll of this, Mr. Dolly's pretty decent. This guy could de genuinely kill me, I don't really remember how he works. Okay, I didn't actually mean to grab a secret room there, but thank you I guess. Almost telefragged me, little bitch boy. Good, good, good. All taken care of. Dude, stop stealing my goddamn stuff. Cool. Two more players trying to get the bag of bobbies here. I basically, I'm, my, my bet, my, I'm hedging my bets on that every fragile bobby it produces gives me another bonus from Mother's Love. Ah, oh, for God's sake. It's always so annoying with those machines where it just does not pay out. I don't know why he's so eager to open up the chests right now. I thought he only did that if there were other gaps. Turn to treasure room here. Each time an enemy fires a projectile, it has a one-fifth chance to reverse direction and become turbing. Now I'm just going to re-roll that into something. Um, yeah. Why not? Dude, stop with all these goddamn spiders. Yeah, real herming is way more valuable for us with this. Get out of here, boy. Right, another five cent to use here. Come on, fragile bobbies. Yeah, you bastard. Spent so much money on you. How dare you? Right. Not particularly hard boss, but he does have a few sort of attacks that can be pretty deadly. There you go, we got him. Okay, so we go with this. I think that red thing will still stay there when I go in here. I'm hoping it does. It does indeed. Oh, fuck me. When it said harder, I didn't realize it was going to mean this much harder. Okay, I might die here. Forgive me if I do. Okay, I'm good. And then Wrath we can definitely take. That was scary. Okay, those those boss fights are a lot harder. We need to be a lot more prepared for those as they come. Right, I think we're good to go. I'd like to buy the soap bar, but I spent all my money on stupid shit. I won't make that mistake again. Serious. Serious. Right. One cent pill in the in a doorway yet again. He likes doing that, doesn't he? He likes to put stuff in the doorways. That's pretty useful, I guess. Suck up an item that's not doing it for us exactly. Okay, good, good. We 
My penny. Stop trying to take him, Swindler. You've had enough. You've been fed enough, big boy. Okay. Let me go into here again. Oh, God. Mark of Cain grants you a familiar on death if you have any familiars. No, thank you. If you have any familiars beside um, Onk, revive and remove them instead. No, thanks. Damn it. I don't want to remove my familiars. It's an extra life, but... No, thanks. Why do you have something better? God damn it. Get out the doorway. Stop spawning stuff in the doorways. Yeah, I realize an extra life is pretty darn useful as the lost, but I wanted to gamble for something that's more useful now. And unfortunately, the gamble did not pay off. It was not a good idea for the gamble. Ah, oh, that chest I completely missed out on because I skipped the room. Need to make sure I don't leave so suddenly. We've not seen our item room yet. Let's try and find our item room first. Yeah, and then just be careful on those red rooms because they're going to be very sketchy by the looks of things. Extra key. Hollowed ground isn't that good. Rerolling it will remove the uh, discount as well, so we, we know that now. Extra bombs, good. Wait, have we seen the item room? Oh, of course we have. We got the, uh... It's just because I didn't get an item. I'm stupid. My bad. My bad. Always do that. Secret room. I'm not entirely sure on, to be honest. It seems like Wrath is knocking him back quite a lot, which is nice. Good, good. We got ourselves Sir Box, which doesn't do much for us, although I'm going to go down here first. Okay, this fight has one thing the others did, the other didn't. Some rocks to sit over the top of. Okay, we've got invincibility for a short time here. Let's just get in there. Abaddon. Wait, what's, what's better here? Hmm. I think it's this. Abaddon's good, but I think this is better. We re-roll that. Get some more luck upgrade. Why not? And some more keys. Keep it going. Yeah, Re Red King. Insanely good item. So glad we got that unlocked. Basically, at this stage, I have to say, do I want to risk going Delirium and getting no completion mark unlocks, or do I go for pretty much the guarantee of beating the beast? I think Delirium's the harder one, so we should probably go for Delirium. I think I can take this now, and my room will still be uh, a Devil Deal one. Toy drum is, of course, pretty good. Good, good. Easy. Harlequin Baby's not a bad buy for the extra stats. Bag of Bobbies! It's here! It returned it to me. Okay, I'll try and get Bag of Bobbies then, shall I? Oh, we got an item there. I'm gonna re-roll it. We already got Homan. Oh, Lodestone, yes please. I will grab us some Lodestone. Indeed, I will.
Okay. Back to the bag of bobbies. Let's go. As if it gave me it after all that money I spent. God damn. Gimme. Right. So unfortunately it didn't work the way I thought it was going to work. It didn't still give me a devil deal one. And it's, it didn't even give me a, um, a reroll machine in there either. It like cancelled out both. Which is annoying. I'm trying to black rune this for some stats. More shot speed, more fire rate. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Cool. Loving the amount of keys we're getting back from all of our chests here. Guppy Sail was clearly a good choice. See, now Perfection's the better choice, but too late. I don't know if we're going to get a red room off of the back of this. We good on this floor? Pretty much. Just gonna quickly go back and grab that uh, soul of Azazel. Although I'm not gonna use it now, it'll be good against like Hush. If we make Hush, that is, we might have to go through through the dark path. We'll make sure to take uh, negative. Right, boss time. Boss should be pretty easy, I think. Yep. Cool. Take that. Come in here. I think we just grab that for the damage. Lodestone plus these rockets are kind of insane, because the rockets just instantly, like, home in on this guy. Good stuff. This is now tricky. This is a very tricky choice. Oh my god. I love Hemolacria. We do have good fire rate, so it could be quite good. I'm going to take it. With Herming, I'm going to take it. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I'm glad I took that. As long as our fire rate didn't get too low, like, below, sort of... Two, I'd be pretty happy, and it didn't. Have uh, we got XL floor here? Oh, this is an annoying room. Don't know how that didn't hit me, but I'll take it. I am getting stats for every fragile Bobby as well, by the way. As expected. The game's running remarkably well right now as well, which is very nice to see. Beautiful. Yeah, this was a good choice. With Herming, this thing is crazy. Also, Model Rocket seems to be affecting this thing in interesting ways. $3 bill? $3 bill's kind of good for us, maybe? Although it could be risky. What you got there? That doesn't do anything for us. Yeah, I mean, look at the, the rate at which we're killing stuff here. Really? Something? I guess there's something lived. Oopsie. Right, more keys. Thank you. Try and get whatever money we can. Good, good. Make our way to the boss now. 10 LD12. Dude, if I had more money, goddamn. I'd be re-rolling all of these and buying them. Swindle is just such a goddamn good uh, familiar. Devil Disc? Nah. I'd rather take what I've got right now. Where the hell's the boss? Oh, for God's sake. I had to be over there, didn't it? The one way I didn't go.
The one time I didn't go that way. I think I'm honestly getting a lot of my additional fire rate right now from all the familiars I have. I think that's a big, like, thing in keeping as much fire rate as we currently have with uh, Hemolacria. Which have so many familiars giving us those bonus stats. I really should be opening these chests. You can't have my keys, boy. Stay away from my damn keys. Where on earth is the boss Ukiya? That is very good. Would be even better if we had um, perfection right now. But we do already have six looks. I'm going to say it's not too bad. Oh my god, dude. So confused about where the boss is right now. I got another look upgrade there. Also, apparently I left my soul of Azazel back there. Because he keeps spawning things in doorways. Whoever makes the swindler, just put a little check in to make sure it doesn't spawn stuff in doorways, please. I'm going to guess it's over here. This has been a really annoying labyrinth. Stop spawning stuff in doorways, you shit. That was really close. Those spikes. Dude. You're dead, my friend. Oh, really? Good, good. Devil Deal, check that first. Toy Piano is good, we'll take that, I guess. I was a little worried I was going to accidentally go up one of the portals there. Not really what I wanted out of that, but hey her. Okay. Hush fight, let's go. But curse the blind, which I'm not happy about. This could ruin our run. I could just take nothing, I guess, but Eh. All the fires are helpful here. Okay. Lodestone plus the fires are going to be super useful here. Oh, Wrath. Oh my god, Wrath. Come on, don't do this. There you go. That was good. Holy shit. I kind of forgot we had Wrath, I'll be honest. Invincibility for a short time here. Let's be careful, though. Bloodstone, create some fuckery with these tears. Some level of fuckery. Ah, fuck. This, yeah, I was just about to say. I was just about to say, I was like, this could easily be us dead. Oh, I should have taken that fucking thing that removes our familiars. Oh, God, that was such a good run. That's a real shame, that is. That's a real shame. 
Ah, God, I was like, Lodestone could fuck us so hard during this stage, and it did exactly that. I knew that that was going to be a problem. I didn't even think about it until it started happening. We were killing him so fast. Maybe I should have waited on using the Azazels, um, the Soul of Azazel, until a little bit later. Either way, that is a pretty amazing run that unfortunately perished way too soon. That, that could have killed Delirium, that could have. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.